workouts continue at local high schools after the UIL allowed student athletes to return to campuses starting Monday with safety guidelines in place. And one of our several stops takes us to Alamo Heights High School, where the Mules held workouts for both boys and girls student athletes. Alamo Heights has a new head coach and athletic director in Ron Ritterman. He decided to leave Johnson High School after 12 seasons. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic hiatus, this week is the first time Coach Ritterman and his players have been on the field at the same time. Coach Norman was great. He was an experienced coach, and uh, Coach Ritterman's the same. You know, uh, long experience. You know, a great guy. I mean, from my initial impression, I'm really excited for this season. Since we still have been able to talk to him, it's been kind of easier for us to over come over to a new change. We get someone that was as good as Coach Norman, if not better, and that can help us take over and try and win state this year. One longtime coach in the San Antonio area is looking at his final season at Brackenridge High School. Willie Hall has been with the Eagles for 37 years, the last 25 as head coach after originally joining the Brackenridge staff in 1983, assuming head coaching duties in 1995 and leading the Eagles to the playoffs 15 times. Now at 64 years of age, 2020 will be his last season with the Eagles. It means a lot, you know, not just because it's my last year, but, uh, you know, this is what I've done since I was a, a youngster and uh, I, I want to go out uh, having a great year and, and spending time with the kids and some of that was stolen from us, but we're back. Some people get new coaches every year and stuff, but he's been here for so long. We've got, you know, build like a bond and stuff, so it's always good. In his final season, Hall, like everyone else, is faced with new challenges, COVID-19 guidelines and restrictions that limit all workouts as he prepares to hopefully kick off the season on time. And for the student athletes, they're just happy to be back on the field. It's a blessing, you know, that we all get to come back and, you know, um, build like a brotherhood because, you know, we were off for so long, finding a good back and, um, you know, you know, just be with each other. It's pretty hard because we're joking around all close up in a huddle, but now we have to stay six feet away, apart, talking from a distance. But we're, working, we're making more work. We're doing as much as we can. Major League Soccer is set to resume its season with a tournament starting July 8th in Florida. The league suspended play March 12th because of the coronavirus outbreak after its teams had played just two games. The league's 26 teams will be divided into six groups for the opening round of the tournament, played without fans at ESPN's Wide World of Sports Complex at Walt Disney World. Following the tournament, teams will resume the season in their home markets. So how many thousands of lives did Willie Hall affect? over those years he was so many you, so many you talk to so many of his former student athletes man. and they just talk about we love coach hall to this very day That's, what a career yep, yep. he's going to be missed all right larry thanks Ooh, four words to find today's essay live barbacoa chili cheese dogs hmm. sounds good what else do you need a heart doctor <laughs> they have even more food than that today on SA Live. Maybe. Summer food and summer fun. SA Live is heating things up in the middle of June. What's going on guys? Hey Mike, Fiona. What we're gonna talk about today is our summer favorites with a twist. So right here we have a chili dog with a little bit of a secret. Then our nice fresh watermelon salad to kind of contrast that heavy feel of that. So here we have a marinade of our watermelon. Uh, you actually don't have to use a dressing if you follow our technique. We'll show you that coming up. You and your pin pals can finally head back to the bowling alley for family fun night. We check out the changes at one local spot. We are cleaning every touch point, every table, every chair. Including what they're doing with all those shoes. Need some new ideas for breaking a sweat? This workout will get your heart pumping and the fat burning in no time. One dinner, three different flavors, from lots of spices to cheesy goodness. One of our favorite kids in the kitchen shows us how to make meatballs three different ways. So, do allergies keep you from enjoying the outdoors? We've got some new treatments that could bring you some relief. An all-new SA Live is just minutes away. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Right now on KSAT.com, a three-year-old boy in Bernie recognized as a hero. This was after he alerted his mom that his father and sister slid down a drain while puddle jumping. Firefighters were called in. They arrived in time to find the two about 15 feet underground. 
They were pulled to safety without injury. You can read more about the amazing story on our website on KSAT.com under the local news tab. And we're up to 88 degrees. We'll be up around 93 this afternoon. No heat index and some great mornings ahead. Lower humidity all the way through the weekend and into uh, really into next week. Uh, rain free too, guys. All that, right. You Thank you for the nice number. hair day. Huh? Get that heart doctor's number. We might need it after SA Live today. Good looking stuff on SA Live. Dogs and cheese. And it starts right now. Well, if you're looking for a fun family night out, we take you to a local bowling alley back open with changes you'll want to hear. Plus, these aren't your average meatballs. Tons of flavor and oozing with cheese. One of our favorite kids in the kitchen shows you three different meatball recipes to feed the whole family. And stop suffering from allergies. We got some brand new treatments that could finally get you some relief. All today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. Hello and happy Wednesday. Oh, and there are some wonderful pictures of great graduates. Of course, more graduation ceremonies. All the pomp and stir circumstance is going to be happening again this weekend. So we wanted to shout out to the class of 20. 20. Congratulations, folks. We also wanted to mention a free event for graduates happening this Saturday, June 13th. The San Antonio company Twang is hosting Grad Slam 2020. It's a free drive through style celebration where grads can take photos against a backdrop and collect gift bags that include free movie tickets, free pizza coupons, wow. Twang products, and more. Plus, every hour, they'll raffle off a $100 Visa gift card. Wow, okay, that's happening Saturday, this Saturday the 13th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the San Antonio Museum of Science and Technology at Port SA. So go get freebies, class of 2020. So today mm -hmm. we wanna know, and by the way, I'm gonna be attending graduation ceremony Saturday as yeah. well for a special son of mine. Anyway, we wanna know where's your graduate headed next? What college are they going to? Are they heading into a new career? Let us know. Yes, share your comments on social media be sure to tag us at SA Live KSAT, and maybe you'll see some of your answers later on in the show. Okay, before your kiddos move on for the fall, the yes. summer can mean many things with food and hot dogs and oh, watermelon. You, so you, you, refreshing. You speed, seed spitting and all that stuff. Good choice. Today we're learning some recipes that put a twist on those traditional faves. Jen Tobias Trusky met up with award-winning chef Leo Davila to get a taste. So it really just came one day, you know, me and my dad wanted to start a restaurant. We tried, didn't know anything about food. I realized how little I knew about food. Um, and then through culinary school, even the first, second year, I wasn't sure if this was for me. And it really just from there, the love just took off. You know, I grew up uh, Chinese and Mexican, so I really love the different flavors as far as uh, savory and sweet, salty and acidic. Um, and then being able to just provide something different. Pushing the limits is what Leo Davila does with his Catch the Wave recipes. Uh, being able to go to a farmer's market and sell food and people actually enjoy and say, what did you put in this? How did you make this? Where can I get this? The Art Institute is where his story began. And that's where we're at today. The two items on the menu, barbacoa chili dogs and a compressed watermelon salad. So if you're familiar with our tacos, we do an amazing barbacoa uh, hatch green chili. Our sous chef Hunter McCall is from New Mexico, brings these great hatch green chilies um, for us to use. So we did that more in a stew. So what we're gonna do is just we're gonna use some all beef uh, hot dog wieners. These are just for me, so don't worry guys. I know I'm not using gloves. This right here, we actually did our homemade barbacoa, but you don't have to. You don't have to go through the labor of getting the beef cheeks, cleaning them out. You don't have to do that. Come and find us. You know, you can buy them from us or buy them from your local uh, favorite taco shop. And what you'll do is you'll just follow the green chili recipe and then you'll kind of add this right at the end um, to your liking. Now this is a little on the spicier side. Uh, these are more than medium chilies, really great. So right on top. And then something that we love is we love uh, pickled red onions. Anybody who knows me, anybody knows this, we make our own pickled red onions, we love them. So these just go on top. That acidity is gonna help cut through all that fat of the barbacoa, right? So it's a little bit of a fat cooked in some lard, those beef cheeks, nice and fatty, nice and meaty. So this pickled red onion is gonna help cut through that, um, all that mouth of the fat. Then we're gonna do our favorite, queso fresco. One of my favorite cheeses, go right on top. 
And then we're gonna finish it off with our avocado crema. So everything we did today was kind of like build your own. So this can be set up as like a hot dog bar. This can be done, made ahead for your guests. You've heard of marinating steaks, but marinating watermelon? Yep, it can be done. You know, nobody really wants to eat salad, right? I mean, you don't ever go to the place and want to eat salad. It's more for health reasons. So this is our play on actually wanting to eat something great. Um, so like we talked about, this is a marinade. Um, what we did was we made a nice balsamic vinaigrette, put that into a food saver, and we vacuum sealed it so it compresses all that flavor into it. Um, I have some here that we already drained. Let's say you don't have that food saver. You're not, you're not into that. You don't want to spend that money on that. No problem. What we have here is fresh watermelon. We'll take that dressing and we'll just go right on top of it. And then from here, um, you'll pretty much stir the coat, toss the coat, and then let that sit. You can let it sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, come back out, drain all that liquid, and then you're ready to go. As you see, we have some smaller pieces. We're gonna do a little bit of the bigger piece as well. And we're just gonna let this be our base. We're gonna build up on them. And then from here, we're gonna take our arugula. So, we have our arugula, we're gonna dump it into a bowl. We don't want it to be completely dry. As you see, it's kind of dry, pale. We're gonna take some of that vinaigrette. We're gonna go on the outside of the bowl. Outside of the bowl, it sticks to it so it doesn't get heavy and weigh down our greens. We'll just take a nice handful. And once again, if it's for you, your friends, fill it up. Um, if you're trying to impress some guests on the summer, you know, take your time, have some fun with it. Next up, we have some blistered cherry tomatoes. So what we did is we got a pan roaring hot and we just blistered them. Got them nice and dark. Uh, we threw that with a little bit of oil, touch of salt. Next up, we have our avocado crema. So this is just av uh, avocado and we do an El Salvadorian cream. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go right around a couple of times, just like that. We're gonna take our roasted sunflower seeds and then the last final finishing touch, we're gonna do a little bit of queso fresco. That is our favorite cheese. Give it a little bit of salty component. And there you go, guys. Ready to enjoy summer favorites with a twist. Two great summer recipes for you to try. So why the name Catch the Wave? I woke up to a bunch of text messages and emails from friends saying, hey, you need to open up your place. You're gonna miss the wave. You're gonna miss the boat. You're gonna miss the rush. I responded to all those people saying, no, I'll catch the wave. I definitely agree, Leo. You caught the wave. And we love joining in for these recipes. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Strusky. I can go for I, both I, deals right now. <laughs> Delicious. I, I wish it was right here in front of us. And I love the, well, the, look at that, right behind us, right there, those, those dogs with the barbacoa and the, oh my goodness gracious. So mm. those two recipes are on salive.com right now. Click the recipes tab and be sure to follow Catch the Wave on social media platforms to find them at their next pop-up. Stomach's doing backflips right now. Okay, bowling is one of those activities that everyone has done since we were kids. I actually took a bowling class in college, believe it or not. But when you think, I did. But when you think about it, there's a lot of sharing, all, you know, the balls that somebody else is using, the shoes and everything like that. So how are they adapting to the times? Bowl and Barrel up at the rim is back open and wants you to know you can still make tons of family memories there safely. Looking for some family fun? How about checking out Bowl and Barrel here at the Rim? Joining me right now is Kevin Steele, Area Director for Free Range Concepts. Thank you so much for joining me right Absolutely. now. Absolutely, thank you for having me. All right, folks are excited because things are back open. Yes. Tell us what they can expect coming to Bowl and Barrel. Well, Bowl and Barrel, you can expect just a, a clean and safe environment. Every single time you walk in, we are cleaning every touch point, every table, every chair every ball, all the ball holes, all the shoes get rotated out on an hour basis so they're just not reused all the time and uh, we are doing wellness checks for staff members just to ensure that uh, everybody is safe uh, to work. Um, so we are excited to, to invite anybody out that wants to bowl and have awesome food and great drinks. Tell us a little bit about what they can order. Yeah, so uh, when you come to Bowling Barrel, you can order everything from, we have handmade pizzas to uh, kids items like uh, mini hot dogs, dog piles, sliders. Uh, we have homemade meatballs that we make every day. Um, and at the end, you can enjoy a, a big ball of cotton candy. Ooh! Ooh, yes. yes, I've already got divs on that one. Yes. And speaking of the kids that you just mentioned, you have you are celebrating yes. kids who had birthdays yes. during the quarantine, right? So if you had a birthday while we were on quarantine, come out, talk to us. Uh, we would love to host 
uh, you and your family uh, with the special surprise of possibly some free bowling for an hour. Every single day we're doing kids bowl from uh, 11 to 4. Uh, basically, for you could bowl for $10, get a slice of pizza and a drink. All right, let folks know where to go for more information. Absolutely. If you want more information on Bowling Barrel, you can visit us on Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you so much. All right, for more information on Bowl and Barrel, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And of course, okay. you can find them there on Facebook, too. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Okay. <laughs> Can ah, something make more fun. noise in the studio right here? So. This is why they don't let us play at this desk. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> here's your, what? No. Here, here's your no. Oppor Here's your one opportunity. No. No. Move. <laughs> no. <laughs> we just made more noise. <laughs> Restores my faith in her. She didn't go for it. <laughs> <laughs> you had that opportunity. <laughs> Bowling is so much fun, though. We haven't done that. I know we need to get out there doing that. So, mm -hmm. family, not, not me, you know. So, anyway. Hi. Uh, Bert, hey, uh, what are we doing next? Still ahead on SA Live. Still ahead, what can you make with lettuce cups? And taco shells? Turkey taco meatballs. Stuffed with cheese. Mm -hmm. Yes. But first, are you dealing with the quarantine 15? We've got a great workout to get you ready for summer fast. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, was this you? Just spending maybe a little too much time on the couch during all the whole quarantine thing. Well, there's no better time than now to get up and get moving. Yes, here's a heart pumping cardio workout with Energy X Fitness that'll help burn that fat. Hey guys, Allison here from Energy X Fitness with another at-home workout. Hopefully you're getting used to being at home a little bit more and enjoying those at-home workouts. Today we've got a bit of cardio for you. All you're gonna need is yourself and maybe some toilet paper rolls for this workout. All right guys, we've got a cardio workout today. So I've got four exercises for you. The first one is gonna be your quick feet. If you have tile in your house or if you have something where you can actually physically see lines, use it, it's a really good marker. But me today, I don't have anything, so I'm gonna create an imaginary box, moving my feet forward and moving my feet back and getting quicker with this. So we call this quick feet, a box drill quick feet. Go as quick as you can and get that heart rate going. Relax there, and then I'm gonna need you to get your toilet paper rolls, and I want you to stack them up. You decide how high you wanna go, but the higher you go, the more you gotta do. So we're gonna take it to a toilet paper turning squat hop. So I'm gonna turn towards my toilet paper, squat down, grab it, squat down, set it down. Turn, grab, turn, set it down. Turn, grab, turn, set it down. And then we're gonna go back to the other side. You gotta squat down and pick it up. We're gonna move on to your mountain climber. So bringing it down onto the ground into that plank position. We're driving your knee into your chest, but I want you to start picking up that pace and making it a jog. Get that heart rate going, get those legs moving. Come on up. And you got one more, this is your shuttle run. So if you have a lot of room, you could make several markers, kind of like cones, if you will. We don't have as much space in our house, so we're gonna put two markers on the ground. You're gonna start at one, you're gonna run to the other. So you're gonna run and stop, push off and stop. You decide how many you want and you can continue going up that ladder, kind of like a suicide drill if you remember back in those athletic days. 
Those are your four exercises. Do 30 seconds, rest for 15, do that same exercise again, and then move on. Hopefully your heart rate is up. If you're looking for more at-home workouts, you can join us at energyxfitness.com where we're offering live stream workouts. You'll get an access code before class to join us. Or you can head on over to vimeo.com backslash energyxfitness for some on-demand classes. Still ahead on SA Live, for a lot of people, it's always allergy season in South Texas. So we're showing you some new treatments that could bring you big time relief. And it's a scary new illness in children related to COVID-19. University Children's Health will tell us what symptoms to watch out for. That's next on SA Live. One of the comforts we've been able to take during the pandemic was that children were less likely to experience the serious symptoms of COVID-19. But now healthcare providers are seeing something disturbing. It's called MISC. Dr. Robert Sanders with University Health Systems Petty Express Urgent Care Downtown joins us today to tell us more about this newly discovered inflammatory syndrome. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon, Fiona. Thanks for having us again. Of course. What is MISC? A lot of letters. It's a it's a big scary word, a uh, big scary phrase. I would say it's called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. Um, the lucky thing about this whole deal is that it's extremely rare, uh, and we do not see it a lot. But it is uh, one of these new complications that we're seeing from COVID. How much of a danger is this to children? It can be very dangerous and very very rarely life threatening. The really good thing about this, though, is that the amount of children that get severely sick from this or ever have to end up needing intensive care type of care is incredibly low. And what I can tell you is that pretty much every single child that gets this recovers fully without really any sequelae or problems afterwards at all. What are the symptoms parents and caregivers should look out for? Fever for a couple days. Uh, generally, we're seeing that these fevers are pretty high, or 102, 103 or higher. Uh, and then sometimes uh, children, depending on their age, are gonna develop a rash. They might develop some swelling of their hands or feet. They might develop red eyes. Uh, and so, and a, another common thing that we're seeing, which is a super vague, but we're, we're hearing a lot of, is that people are complaining of high fevers, diarrhea and abdominal pain with this as well and what happens is that these children develop these and or, or even even uh, like adolescents teenagers are developing these uh these symptoms where they have these high fevers and then um they uh they kind of go into shock uh, their body goes into shock for a brief period of time and that's all treated by our doctors in the hospital and again m most of these kids when they're picked up which they pretty much all are picked up are recovering without a problem so what can parents do if they think, you know, oh my gosh, I'm looking at the You're symptoms, right. my child might have MISC. What, what's the first Absolutely. thing they should do? The, call their doctor. And, and the one thing I'll tell you is uh, come in to see us too. Uh, PD Express down at uh, Robert B. Green with University Health System now has two options. We actually have the ability to do telemedicine visits where we can actually do a video visit with you and your child or with with a parent and their child in the home we can talk through the symptoms and take a look at the child with your child with you as uh, uh as we're doing the visit and we can we can discuss the options at that point if it's one of these situations where we feel like you know we might need to look further into this very rare misc uh, uh um, issue then we'll have you come into our clinic where we can take a closer look and do some blood tests if we need to and it's okay to go to the ER right now. What, yes. what safety precautions are in place for folks who come in? Well, we're, we're taking a lot of precautions, both in the ER and the urgent care right now. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we're, 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 we're washing our hands a lot. I know it sounds incredibly basic, but it's one of the most important tenets of trying to prevent uh, disease spread is washing our hands. So, of course, we're doing that normally. But in addition to that, we're uh, also all, all health care providers, nurses are wearing masks at all encounters. We're wearing eye protection, and then in certain situations when we need it, we're wearing additional PPE or personal protective equipment as necessary. When people come to the emergency room, uh, you know, we recommend the same thing that you're hearing from the city and state. 
wear a mask, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, try to stay away from uh, other people and families, you know, at least six feet as far as you can or as far as you can the social distance as much as possible when you come in. For more information, just call 210-358-KIDS. That's 210-358-5437. Or visit their website, universityhealthsystem.com slash SA Live. Dr. Sanders, once again, thank you so much and stay safe. Thank you, ma'am. You too. If you're using your faucets more these days, trying to keep everything clean as possible, maybe you've noticed you need a better faucet. How you can score a better one for less. And next, it's time for the kids to get in the kitchen. A junior chef shows you three easy ways to make meatballs for the whole family. But right now, here's a few easy ways to stay healthy brought to you by BMW of San Antonio and the Tobin Center for the Performing Arts. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you've had a busy day at work, maybe the kids can jump into the kitchen and help tonight. That's right. Yes. In their keep. Of course. <laughs> Whether you need the help or just some shortcuts, our executive producer's daughter, Molly, is showing us an easy way to feed the family with meatballs three different ways using three different kinds of meat. Take a look. Hi, guys. Today, we're going to be making some awesome meatballs. It's a great thing for summer and most people love them. We're also going to be making them in some egg cartons today. Great way to use them. We're going to be making three different types of meatballs today. First, we're going to be making some Asian meatballs. We're going to be making some taco meatballs. And we're going to be making some regular meatballs. Let's get started. Don't forget to put on gloves that are separate for each meat. We're going to use one pound of ground chicken, two teaspoons of ginger, one tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm using low sodium because we don't need as much salt in this recipe. One half cup of green onion and two cloves of garlic. Plop in two teaspoons. Plop. I'm gonna mince the garlic in a garlic press. Now we're gonna mix it up with our hands. Remember, use gloves. This is a lot like mixing slime. So for those of you who know how to mix slime, this should be really easy. Now we're gonna make the meatball into 12 balls. They should be about this size, about a tablespoon, maybe two. And then we're gonna put them into little egg areas. And then we're gonna continue this until we fill the whole egg cart. Next, we have our stuffed cheesy taco meatballs. We need one pound of our turkey, half a cup of tortilla chips that we just put in a plastic bag and then broke up so they're small, 12 cheese cubes. I'll tell you what we need to do with these later. Two tablespoons of taco seasoning, one egg, and one third cup of minced onion. Start with taco seasoning. Now I'm going to put on the tortilla chips, the onion, and of course the egg. Leave the cheese for later. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a cheese coop, like so. We're going to take some meat and place it on top and take another piece of meat and put it on top and sandwich it. And then take some more and kind of roll it into a meatball where the cheese is inside. And if you need to, you can add a little more. And if there's a little extra, you can take some off. Like last time, we're just gonna plop it in there. If they look a little bigger than last time, that's because the cheese is in there. But don't worry. Morning gloves. Now, we're gonna make our regular meatballs. One pound of ground sirloin, half a cup of panko, four cloves of garlic, one egg, one third cup of onion, Minced, of course. About two tablespoons of chopped parsley, one teaspoon of salt, and a bunch of black pepper. First, I'm gonna put in the panko, onions, egg, then our salt and parsley, our garlic. Now, we're gonna put all 
this black pepper in here. And now we're gonna mix it all together. So now we're gonna make our meatballs. About this size. Now, we're gonna put these in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes. They're ready to eat. Our Asian chicken meatball, our cheesy taco turkey meatball, and our regular beef meatball. Now, the Asian chicken one goes well with ramen, stir fry, slimane, a lot of cool things. The middle one goes well with tacos, taco salads, taco boards. Then we just have a regular meatball. This goes well with almost anything. It can go well with meatball subs, spaghetti, you can dip it in barbecue sauce. It just goes well with almost anything. Mm. Don't be afraid to try something new. can't wait to mm -hmm. bite into these, but I love how she cooked them in the cardboard egg cartons because it absorbs a lot of the, the excess fat and everything yes. like that and maybe makes cleanup a little bit easier. Yes. So She sent some. Okay, this is the try. taco, the stuffed one, and it talked about that cheese, and there's that nice bit of cheese right there in the middle, and we are going to put these in taco shells. Oh, my goodness. That looks so good. I got to taste yeah. it. Mmm. And they're a little bit easier if they are cut in half to put in here. Oh, that's good. Is that good? Mm -hmm. And this is the, the turkey. And she was talking about, too, how it would taste really good on a um, taco salad or something. And I was even thinking if you had some, um, mm. some good uh, Mexican rice and you could put these oh, yeah. on top of oh, the Mexican rice. Oh, you load this yeah. up. Oh, yeah. And if you make them without the crushed chips, they're keto friendly and you can serve them of course in lettuce cups <laughs> you have something on your mouth <laughs> sorry I know. excuse me for talking my mouthful but a really good kick from the taco seasoning in there too mm -hmm. oh that is tasty i don't like the lettuce wrap idea the lettuce as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh that's got a nice little kick to it mm. Mm. Nice job, Molly. And thank you for the samples as well. Now, all three of these recipes are on our website, salive.com, and meatballs freeze well. So if you make them all in one batch, you can feed your family throughout the week or pull them out later in the month as you need them. That's a great idea, because how many times are you looking for something that's like, oh, wait, I've got to, you know, mm -hmm. tune in and put it together. This is already done. Pop them out, probably zap them in the, uh, the microwave mm -hmm. a little bit, and you're all set to go. So great idea. Yeah. Coming up. Have you tried every pill but still suffer from allergies? We got some out-of-the-box treatments that could give you some much-needed relief. That's next on SA Live. Allergy season can pretty much be all year round here in South Texas, so lots of people here have tried all sorts of different remedies, and if you're still suffering, well, maybe it's time to try something new. Health expert Bryce Wild is here with some alternative ways to battle your allergies. Hey, Bryce, how you doing? You got it. I'm really well, thank you. I unfortunately happen to be one of those allergy sufferers, but I think this year might be a little easier for some folks uh, as they're spending a lot more time indoors, although pollen counts out there are really ramping up, starting, of course, with grasses and trees. Well, of course, the first thing is to start treatment early, right? You know, absolutely. And in a clinical setting, I've been seeing patients with allergies for over 20 years now, and I often start them as early as end of March when they're really bad for, of course, what's now current, the trees and the grass allergens. These, these pollens are in uh, tremendous amounts at this point in time, and they're actually ramping up even further. The first go-to, coercetin. Uh, this is a naturally occurring bioflavonoid found in onions and brightly colored orange and yellow fruits and vegetables. And what that does when you take this every day, you supplement with about 2,000 milligrams, very healthy for the average person, no side effects. It will calm your immune system down so that you're less likely to produce that reactive mast cell histamine release in the first place. Why do people, and I've always heard this when you move to South Texas, if you don't have allergies, you will get them. Why do some adults get allergies when you don't have them as children? The less you are 
exposed to allergens, um, dust, which is skin cell and dead, uh, you know, uh, uh, insect uh, remnants and things like that. The less you're exposed to dirt, the less you're exposed to bacteria, the more likely your immune system to, can become pollen reactive or allergen reactive. And so I teach my patients this all the time. Play in the dirt, have your kids play in the dirt, get breastfed, make sure that you come out of mom uh, vaginally normally rather than, uh, you know, a C-section if possible. That'll all create a much more balanced immune system. So that's how you can make allergies worse by being away from them. But then also we can do stuff in the home that, that makes it worse too, right? Vacuuming frequently is really key. Um, no matter what you have, hardwood or, or, a, uh, or a, I'm reaching behind me here because this is my go-to. This is a neti pot, we've seen this before. And this is a simple saline solution, water and salt, up one side of the nose and out the other. That will shower your nose. So you also have to remember to shower yourself, your hair, make sure you wash yourself before hitting the sack because allergens attach to you, your body, and you don't wanna sleep with them for eight hours. Uh, that's gonna be detrimental. So clearing your nose and your body out, as well as keeping you know a, a dust-free environment at home is key. And I'll, and I'll tell you something else, I've been using this really successfully. Um, Similison, this is a Swiss uh, product you can find over the counter at your local health food store or at your pharmacy. So my worst symptom is the eyes, itchy, watery eyes. And by dropping this in my eyes, so you want to look for very specific ingredients, uh, homeopathic ingredients, sabadilla, euphrasia, uh, apis. And what you'll find is rather than dropping the conventional drops that cause reactive uh, allergy syndrome, so your allergies actually over time get worse, this will train your eyes in a way of speaking, naturally all, you know, natural active ingredients to train the eyes to produce less of that histamine that we're referring to at the top. All right, so this is fantastic information. Where can people find more? Oh, thanks so much, Mike. You know what? They can uh, hit me up on uh, any of my social media platforms at Wild on Health. That's with a Y, W Y L D E, uh, or the website, wildonhealth.com. Hundreds of thousands of pages of free information on allergies, the immune system, and a whole bunch more. I always learn something when I chat with you on the show. Bryce, thank you very much. Great talking with you. Thank you so much, guys. And next. With all this hand washing, have you noticed you need a better faucet? How you can have the best and pay less. Straight ahead on SA Live. Well, now that we're home, a lot more. That leaky faucet's probably really kind of getting on your nerves more than ever. But when can you tell if it's a leaky faucet that needs to be repaired or replaced? The folks at Faucet Parts can help with that. And store manager John Rodriguez joins us now. Good afternoon, John. Good afternoon. All right, first question. We have just extremely hard water here in San Antonio. How does that contribute to a leaky faucet? Hard water here in San Antonio is the leading cause of, of faucet malfunction. So whenever you have hard water, that ends up uh, damaging the faucet's key components, which are the stands or cartridges. And uh, ultimately that's what causes your faucet to, to be damaged. So it's more than just the stuff that builds up on the outside and makes the spray come out funny. It's on the inside too, right? That's correct, that's correct. San Antonio is one of the hardest, uh, hardest waters in the country. All right, so when can you tell if you should repair or replace a faucet? Well, when you bring in the cartridge or the stem here at the stores, our experts will check them out. They'll find out whether or not it needs to be repaired or replaced. Okay, so say I need to replace the faucet. What kind can I get and is it going to be in stock? Yes, here at the store, we have a full showroom. And if you uh, see behind me, we have faucets that are in stock right now. Okay, so a lot of times, you know, everybody's got the new faucets. What's about old faucets and what's the difference between, you know, the brand new fancy ones and the older models? Well, usually the older faucets are the ones that are made for our type of water, the hard water. Uh, the newer ones are made for a little bit more softer water. If you have a water softener, those faucets are made to, meant to last with those uh, type of water. So the the harder the water, the more of an old fashioned faucet that you wanna you wanna take in. You wanna get an old fashioned faucet if you have hard water. Didn't know that. Okay, we have a special going on right now for anyone who might be watching. How much can they save? 
So you can save 15% today. If you come in and you say that you saw us on TV, uh, you can get a 15% discount. It excludes water heaters, tools, and special orders, but anything else you can get 15% on a discount. All right, if people wanna come in, where's your store located? And what kind of measures, are, of course, are you taking to keep people safe? We're located at 1109 Fresno. We're off of I-10 in Fresno, in between I-10 and Blanco. And uh, safety is our number one priority. So if you choose to come into the store, we have arrows on the floor and uh, we have spaces from six feet apart. Uh, we also have plexiglass at our registers. And uh, if you don't feel comfortable enough to come into the store, then you can call us and we'll go outside to you. Okay, we'll call now or come into the store, as he said, and you will get 15% discount at Fawcett Parts just for saying that you saw this segment on SA Live. Now, of course, the special does not include water heaters, tools, or special orders. Number to call is 210-733-3583 or visit FawcettParts-TX.com. John, nice chatting with you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, Aquatica San Antonio starts reopening this weekend. Jen heads out there for a splashing good time and hangs out with cute and cuddly critter. And it's a thirsty Thursday. We hit up Southtown and tell you where you can get these refreshing summer sips and even share a Father's Day deal with you. That's tomorrow on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you, where is your graduate headed next? What college are they going to? Are they heading into a new career? What do you want to brag about? All right, Melody says, so proud of my niece, Sabrina Riddle. She graduated summa from Madison and is on the way to being an Aggie. <gasps> Congratulations. No kidding. That's summa cum laude. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no kidding. Hey, Aquatica is going to be opening up this weekend over there at uh, SeaWorld. And of course, they're taking all the precautions and everything like that. Jen's going to be heading out there and lots of fun because boy, it's going to be a beautiful weekend for heading out. And it's another thirsty Thursday. We hit up Southtown and tell you where you can get these refreshing summer sips. Oh, look at that. Oh. Those look so great, patio poolside, wherever. And we're even going to share a Father's Day deal with you. Oh, that's right. Week from Sunday. Don't forget, folks, the countdown has begun. If you haven't shopped yet, make sure you do for Father's Day. Hey, speaking of graduates, we have got one of our uh, video kind of tributes to all the, the graduates. So we will see you tomorrow. Congratulations to all the grads.